Here is an example of a finite mixture. Two factories produce light bulbs. Factory one produces light bulbs that have lifetimes modeled by the random variable x1 and this random variable x1 has a cumulative distribution function capital F x1 of x is 0 because you can't have a negative lifetime and it is 1 minus e to the minus x for x greater than or equal to 0. Likewise factory 2 produces bulbs that have lifetimes with a cumulative distribution function capital F x2 of x is 0 for negative lifetimes and 1 minus e to the minus 2 times x for x greater than or equal to 0. Furthermore, let's say you know that the fraction of bulbs that come from factory 1 is 2 thirds and the fraction of bulbs that come from factory 2 is 1 third. What is the mixture distribution? Another way of thinking of this is what is the lifetime of a light bulb that you have in your hand that can't be identified as to whether it came from factory 1 or factory 2? In other words, you're not sure whether it's a factory 1 light bulb, in which case its CDF would be this, or if it's a factory 2 light bulb, in which case its CDF would be this. It's a mixture of the two. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be defining x as the bulb lifetime, the bulb that you have in your hand which you can't identify as coming from factory 1 or factory 2. That'll be the random variable x and we're trying to find its cumulative distribution function. Well, it won't surprise you that for put it way off to the, to the right here. For x less than 0, we're going to get a 0 because when you mix a 0 and a 0, you get 0, so there's not much there. But what you have here is with your p1 being 2 thirds, you have 2 thirds multiplied by this CDF, 1 minus e to the minus x and then one-third is the probability you'll get one of the bulbs from factory 2 which has CDF 1 minus e to the minus 2x and that will be the cumulative distribution for x greater than or equal to zero. This is an example of a finite mixture distribution.